<laughs> Hi everyone, today is February 25th. Today is February 25th, 2018. And today is our Bella's baptism. Right? Yes. She's um, 11 months and four, uh, 11 months and three weeks ne next week will be her first birthday so we're ready One year we're going old. we're going to church now say hi michael hi. okay we're attending the mass at 11 30 a.m and after the mass will be her baptism Welcome everybody to St. Anthony's. What a wonderful time to be all gathered together. What name do you give your child? What do you ask of God's church for? So that you have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. You clearly understand what you are undertaking. Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Yes. Christabel, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy, and in its name I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And I now trace this cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents, and on all the baptized. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light, give her new life of baptism, and welcome her into your holy church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Through baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Make the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Keep her family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us. St. John the Baptist, pray, pray for, for us. St. Joseph, pray, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray, pray for us. St. Anthony of Padua, pray, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan's spirit of evil, to rescue men from the kingdom of darkness, and to bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, 
set her free from original sin, make her a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus, this is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So I invite everybody here to join in on this. Do you reject Satan? Yes. And all his works? Yes. And all his empty promises? Yes. yes. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes. yes. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes. yes. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes. yes. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 Is it your will that Christabel should be baptized in the faith of the Church, which we have all professed with you? Yes. All right. Here we go. Christabel, I baptize you in the name of the Father. I don't want to go in your eyes. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh. All right. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting. Christabel, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly glory. Lord Jesus made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. 
to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. She is now called the child of God, for indeed she is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the Church. In the name of this child and in the spiritship, let us pray together with the words our Lord has given us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessing upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always wherever they may be faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you all. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> <laughs>